Hey, folks, we're back again. You know, Brian Kelly, we've been talking a few times on these uh, videos we've been doing, and there was a there was a lady named Emily that he mentioned early on when he was working under that motorhome and and getting this stuff work done, and the phone rang. And so where's Emily now? Is she working in some other industry? Did you fire her? Where, where, where's Emily today after that that providential phone call with you under that motorhome. So walk us through where Emily is today. Yeah, that's a good, that's a great question, Gary. So we talked a little bit about Emily and you know, the last conversation, I was under the motorhome taking a phone call and and doing essentially a two day working interview with her. And uh, you fast forward today, she's been with me 20 years um, going wow. on, you know, 20 give or take, years, give or take 20 years. And I, with full transparency, I'm actually going to say there's a two and a half year hiatus there um, where I would tell mm. you that uh, we came to a conflict. Um, we couldn't resolve it and she left. Mm. And, uh, wow. you know, so there, there's a little break in there. And uh, I would actually tell you it was one of the greatest lessons for both of us. And, you know, I took okay. somebody, I took somebody who came in and, and as I alluded to, even in that first conversation, I learned something and in return, I found myself training her. And so this, this was a, a relationship that just, it worked in time. And uh, we came to a point where I had expectations and these expectations mm-hmm. weren't being met. Um, and I, I would say there was even some youthful leadership. I think I was uh, at the time, early thirties, 32, 33. So okay. she'd worked for me for six years, seven years at that point. And um you know, there, there came a point where I, I would actually, again, transparency tell you, I had some unrealistic expectations. I wanted perfection. And, and you know what? I, I know guys who think like this. It's got to be done. It's got to be done right. And it's always got to be right. And, and I, I learned something in that, which was perfection don't exist. Perfection is nothing more than false reality swirling around in my head. And uh, I, I lost a great employee out of the deal. And, uh, you know, two and a half years later, uh, she came, you know, she said, Hey, you know, I know you, uh, you're looking for an advisor. I'd love to come work for you again. And, and, and me, me being me, well, you know, there's a process for that. I I'm aware. And then, so she went through the full interview process, did, did an on the job working interview again. Um, mm-hmm. and we, we came back to the team and said, all right, team, what do you think? You know? And of course my team loved her anyway. So they, why are you even asking us? But but they, of course, we know the process and uh, yeah. she came back on and, you know, that was almost, almost 10 years ago now. And uh, wow. so she's, wow. she's still here. She runs the shop um, and, and she is my general manager. She takes care of, I would say she is the first line of defense for me um, before anything gets to me. And that's, that's her role. You know, she's, she's a, she, she still does right service on the front counter. She manages the operation. She manages the technicians, um, and then she's the first point of contact for anything under the uh, the garage. And you know, okay. she's she does it. She does it well. She does it with a smile. And uh, you know, honestly, as as I say, she learns from me, and uh, I learn from her at times. So it's a it's a great yeah. relationship. 